Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we'll be addressing the various parables of Jesus which are contained in the Gospels, and this week we'll cover two different parables, the parable of the treasure in the field and the parable of the pearl of great price. These parables fit nicely together since one is told right after the other, and they refer to similar aspects of Jesus' heavenly kingdom. First, the treasure in the field. The kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hidden in a field, which a man having found hid it, and for joy thereof goeth, and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Matthew thirteen forty four. We know almost nothing about the man being described here in this parable except that he has some understanding of the value of what he's found. He's out on land that he doesn't already own and stumbles upon a precious treasure, worth much more than everything else he owns combined. Now, of course, if he tries to take it away from the field, he'll be guilty of thievery and might get caught in any case. So instead, he hides it on the property somewhere where it's not likely to be found by the owner of the land, then takes off to buy the property. It's an expensive piece of property, worth the same as everything he owns already, but he knows the treasure is worth even more, so he finds buyers for all his property, sells it all, and buys the land with the money. At that point, there's no risk of disputes over the treasure. It rightfully belongs to him. Now, the pearl of great price. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like to a merchant, seeking good pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went his way and sold all that he had, and bought it. Matthew thirteen forty five to 46 A merchant is a retailer, and making money in that business involves selling an item for more than you bought it for. Though it's not as obvious as in the parable of the treasure, we have here a story of a person who stands to make a considerable profit off of a valuable item, which he gains only by selling everything else that he owns. In this case, he doesn't seem to be buying the pearl for less than it's worth, or if he is, these verses don't say it, but his intention is clearly to sell it at a markup and make back everything he spent, and a good deal more besides. The same is true of the parable of the treasure in the field. The man wants to own the treasure, not just because it's valuable, but so that he can sell it and improve his lot in life. Now remember, Jesus says the kingdom of heaven is like this. The idea is not that we gain the kingdom of heaven then immediately sell it to buy other things. Instead, there are three big messages to these parables, similarities which can be drawn between heaven and investments. The first similarity is the most obvious one, and the one most often used in sermons, that we need to make big sacrifices in our life if we want to inherit heaven. However, I think the other two are more interesting. The second similarity is that heaven represents a profit, regardless of how many earthly goods are given up to obtain it. If I'm right about the nature of heaven, that would certainly be true. The third similarity is that the value of heaven works as a discretionary income, not unlike actual wages. While it can't be spent in the sense of being expended, it can be used to provide us with what we need and or want at any given time once we've acquired it. This aspect of heavenly value is clearly something that we're meant to infer from these parables, since otherwise it would actually be incredibly stupid to buy a treasure or a pearl at the cost of everything else you own. Sure, you'd have the treasure or the pearl, but you'd probably freeze to death or die of hunger or thirst within just a short time. So, these are parables about how it's totally legitimate to compare heaven to an investment, and how it functions in a very similar way. Next, the parable of the sower. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.